Good morning, all of you. How are you all? Hope you all are safe at home. But missing school, friends, and teachers, isn't it? We are also missing you, children. Today, I am here to explain you abacus. Abacus is new topic for you, children. You are in class one, so you will learn only two digit numbers. What are two digit numbers? Numbers after nine. After nine is ten. And before hundred ninety nine, these numbers are called two digit numbers. And ten is the smallest two digit number, and ninety nine is the biggest two digit number. Okay, now I explain you how to uh, how to show the numbers on abacus. Children, first of all, tell me what is the abacus? Abacus is a tool with which we can show the numbers and count the numbers according to their place value if i take 53 53 now 3 is at first you have to see the place value 3 is at ones place and 5 is at tens place that means 5 tens you call you call it 50 and 3 you write 3 when we add it it is 53 and we have to write the Number name also fifty three. Last e contain you have got a backers and you must have done the exercise but you have not. We have not explained you this. Now we have to draw the backers for two digit numbers. We draw only two vertical lines. These are called vertical lines. See and we have to mention first here ones. Always start from this side and this is tens. When you go to class two, you will learn hundred also. Then you have to draw one more line. That is hundred lines like this way. Now fifty three, three numbers. At one place three is there, so we draw three beads like this way. And at ten place five number is there, so we draw five like this way. If we write fifty, only fifty you have to show the number on a backer. So at one place zero is there. Then leave it zero. Now easily, if we do not write this number, easily you can read the abacus. One, two, three, four, five. You write first five. Then one, two, three. You write three. You will get fifty-three. Okay. I hope it is clear to you. Now I call Vita Man to explain you how to. Good morning, children. Today I am going to teach you something new and interesting. Do you all like polo? See, this is polo. So I am going to teach you with polo and straw, which you bring pole rings with. So you take polo and straw and put it this way. This is ones place and this is tens place. So now the number on the board says five three fifty three. What is the number on the board? Five three fifty three. Three is in ones place, so we will take one, two, and three. This is ones place, so we are putting three polos in it. Now the number in tens place is five, so let us count: one, two, three, four, five. So see, children, what is the number now? Five three fifty three. So have you all understood? Same way you can do any number whichever you want to do. So I now hand over to now quickly. I will explain you expanded order also. Very soon you will get expanded order e content. But you have done already. You have done in prep class. So quickly I will explain once. What is expanded order? Children, what is expanded order? Simple addition. Four, two, three, one. This is simple addition. You count the line, draw the lines, and count like two, one, two. For one, you draw one, and count. Always start addition from this side. Don't do addition from this side. Okay? When I ask, this is called simple addition. When I ask you, do addition in expanded order. What is the meaning of expanded? Expanded means bigger, longer. You have to do addition in a longer way. Like expand means खोल के उसको खोलना है. देखो four two five.
first you write four tens and two ones. Three one, thirty one, three tens and one one. Now you add four plus uh, two plus one is three ones. And four plus three is seven. You can draw the lines and count them, but never use fingers because you are too small. You forget. While doing addition, you talk to your friends and you forget which number you were counting. So always you draw the lines and do addition. Four plus three is seven tens. This way you do expanded. order i hope it is clear but you need practice for all these topics okay now i call priti ma'am to explain you ascending and descending order in an interesting way thank you children hello children hope you all are fine just now we have seen that ma'am has nicely explained you abacus and expanded form in which you have learned the place value of tens and ones now i am going to teach you ascending order So children, what is ascending order? In ascending order, we arrange the numbers from smallest to biggest. Again, I repeat, in ascending order, we arrange the numbers from smallest to biggest. Ascending order में हम लोग numbers को छोटे से बड़े तक arrange करते हैं. So, see children, what is happening there? I am big. No, I am big. Since four is bigger than three and two, so forty-six will be the. Big 
biggest number. So we will write the number 46 at first. Then in between these two numbers, see in tens place it is having 3 and in the second number it is 2. So since 3 is bigger than 2, so 32 will be our next number and at last we will write 24. So in this way we arrange the numbers in descending order from biggest to smallest. In this chart again you see the boy is moving downwards from the biggest number to the smallest number. So in same way in descending order we arrange the numbers from biggest to smallest. Hope students you all have understood the concept of ascending and descending order. Now let's have a quick recap. In ascending order we arrange the numbers from smallest to biggest and in descending order we arrange the numbers from biggest to smallest. So hope students you all have understood. You do the exercises nicely in your copy. Listen to your parents.